don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss any new videos from this channel. If you're feeling that the video is playing too fast or too slow, you can adjust the speed by clicking at the setting and go to the speed and choose whether you want it to be slower or faster. So this is the slower 0 0.25 and you can see it's a lot more slower. Hello everyone, I hope you are having a great day. Today I'm going to show you how I made this Pokemon named Dracini. The things I use for this project are 4-ply 100% acrylic worst weight yarn. I use local brand name Eagle and with 3.5 millimeters crochet hook or Japanese 6 slash 0 size. The size of the hook may vary depending on your yarn of choice and please study the aberrations carefully before you proceed to the tutorial. We're going to start with the body part. I'm using blue yarn here. You can use pink or any other colors of your choice. For the first round, we're going to make a circle with six single crochet. You can use magic ring or any other method as long as you finish the first round with six single crochet in a circle. As usual, for my way, I'm doing two chain and six single crochet into the first chain. I'm making a first chain and second chain here. And then we're going to work into the first chain with six single crochet, the first single crochet, and two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, five single crochet, and six single crochet. Then slip stitch on the first one. First, I'm going to pull it tight, pull it tight to close the hole, and slip stitch on the first single crochet that we do. Slip stitch, and one chain and single crochet into the same place that we do slip stitch there. Two single crochet into the same place to make an increase and we increase all the way around on the second round so two single crochet into each stitch one and two one single crochet and two single crochet and then one and two just repeat it until we met the start again. And two. And slip stitch on the first single crochet of the round. Slip stitch. One chain to start the next round. Always start the next round with one chain. And then one single crochet to the same place that we do slip stitch and next is increase two single crochet into the same place. So we do one single crochet and then one two into the same place. One single crochet and increase one and two to the same place. One single crochet and increase. So we repeat this pattern until we're back to the to the start of the round again. So in total of six times. And one single crochet increase. One, two, and one single crochet and increase. And slip stitch on the first stitch of the round and it should look circle like this and if you have a pull on your work you may pull it tight or you can sew it to close the whole letter one single no one change and then 
single crochet. So from round four to round seven, we're gonna do one single crochet per stitch. So 18, let's single crochet in the next 18 stitch if you like to count. For four, five, six, seven, for the for four round, we're gonna repeat it. So just one single crochet per stitch. And when we finish the round, slip stitch and one change, just repeat it. And I'll see you again when we finish round seven. I'm not going to speed up the videos for the sake of beginners. And if you finish the round, you can just skip forward to round eight. And see you again there on the start of round eight. After we finish round 7, we do slip stitch to close the round, slip stitch, and then one chain to start round 8. It should look like a semi-sphere, and this is the, the head part of the dratini. And the next round, we're going to do a little bit of decrease so to make the head look rounder. A little bit rounder before we start the body. So in round eight, one single crochet and two, 
three, then four. Yeah, we're gonna do four single crochet and then decrease. Single crochet two together. And we're gonna repeat this for three times in total. So single crochet into the next four stitch. One, two, three, four, and then decrease or single crochet two together and together. And we do an, another set. One, two, three, four, and decrease. And finish the round with slip stitch as usual. At the first stitch of the round, slip stitch in one chain. Let's look a little bit rounder. Look a bit a little bit rounder for our threatening heat. And round nine, we're gonna do um, continue to crease a little bit. So single crochet into the next three stitch. Yeah. One, two, three and then decrease two single crochet together and two together and one two three and decrease if you if your work have a hole, you know, like have an open hole when you do decrease, you may search for the invisible decrease, which will fix that problem. Like the hole can happen when you didn't do the decrease tight enough, they're going to be the hole happen. And slip stitch across the round, one chain before we start the next round. Now we have a head part of dressing and the next round we're gonna do one single crochet into each stitch so in the in total of 12 two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Then slip stitch to close the round. So if you happen to have like you know eleven or 13 more or less from the 12 you may add increase or decrease so to make the round go 12 it doesn't matter if you miss some like miss one stitch in from the pattern you don't you can redo the whole round again or you can just cheat a little bit and now i'm gonna stuff some fibers in stuff you should stuff it tightly so when the dog getting older, the fiber tend to clump together. So we have to stuff it quite tight to make the dog like holding their shape when they're getting old. Okay, stuff it. And we're gonna continue round 11. So now it's going to be a body part, which is going to consist of a lot of color changing. So we're going to continue with blue for four, four stitch, one, two, three, and four. And 
then changing color to white. So be four, five, one, two, three, four. Yeah, just four. Four single crochet in blue and before you finish the fourth stitch, this this is the fourth stitch. And before you finish the the fourth stitch, you know, left the last hook and and hook the white yarn instead. So you have an invincible color changing. So the stitch is look seamless when you change the color. So hook up the white yarn instead of the blue yarn and continue with the white one. And you can tie the knot between the white end and the blue yarn to secure it and make sure it's not loosened. Tied it. And for the white yarn, we're gonna do five, yeah, five stitch for white color. One, two, three, four, five. So the five one, yeah, we, we're not going to finish it. Yep. And then we hook the blue color instead to make, to make the seam, to make it look seamless. And then we do white. Uh, you do the blue yarn. Continue with blue yarn for three stitch, and close the round. So basically, we just we just crochet a one single crochet per one stitch. It it just color changing. So we're gonna do one single crochet per one stitch, and then change the color according to the previous round go straight down because he's like the dragon is like a, a blue snake right blue little dragon so we're gonna continue with blue yarn for one two and three and four so under fourth stitch switch to white yarn white yarn and then Make five white stitch, two, three, four, five, and on the five, we hook the blue yarn to changing the color. And one, two, three. Are you? You don't have to count at this stage, to be honest. You just follow the color on the previous round, and yeah, one one stitch, one single crochet per one stitch all around, and change the color according to the previous round, from round eleven to round sixteen. So just repeating that until you get round sixteen, and yeah, I'm gonna come back again at the end of round 16.
And after I finished round 16, it should look somehow like this. If you want the dragonie's body to be longer, you can repeat round 16 and repeat it until it's long enough to the length that you want. And then continue on round 17. And from round 17, I'm going to do a little bit of decrease so we can slowly close up the tails. So on round 17, we're going to start with decrease. One, two, together. We'll get together to form a de decrease stitch. And one, two. To stitch in blue and then we change the color to white just follow the color seam that we make change the color to white and then five single crochet into each stitch <laughs> no no one single crochet into the next five stitch one And you are not to hook the yarn so tight so the inside is not pulling four and five then we change the color to blue again blue and then three stitch in blue one two three and slip stitch then one change to start round 18 and just three single crochet in blue and change the color to white and you're gonna do one decrease on the white on the white strip so two uh, single crochet into the next two stitch one single crochet two single crochet and then decrease two single crochet together one two together and then one single crochet and change the color to blue and three single crochet one two and three slip stitch at the first stitch of the round and then one change we do it on the same stitch that we do slip stitch one single crochet two single crochet in blue and three single crochet then change the color to white four four stitch in white one two and three then four so then change the color to blue again and you're gonna do one single crochet then decrease two single crochet together one and two and hook them together then slip stitch and change so now you're gonna pause the work and stuff some fibers inside it's gonna be a little bit hard to stuff the fiber because it the tunnel the body is quite small you can use a hook to hook the fibers inside like I do or you can use pencil to help to stuff the fiber stuff it tight and make sure it's spread equally then continue on round 20. In round 20, we're going to do three single crochet 
in blue, one, two, three, and then change the color to white. And one single crochet in white. And then we do decrease two single crochet together and one single crochet in white before we change the color to blue. We're gonna do single crochet in the next two stitch in blue to just follow the color seam and slip stitch across the round one change and our dressing is that to glim up a little bit so technically what I'm doing here is one decrease per round to gradually decrease the and form the tail the tip of the tail and make sure that the color seam is still doesn't it doesn't look odd and looks smooth so next is round 21 with blue color we're gonna do three single crochet one two three then change the color to white and one single crochet then one single crochet in white yep and then decrease two single crochet together it's a little bit tight two single crochet and hook it together but we're gonna change the color here so instead of hooking the white yarn we're hooking a blue yarn instead and then two single crochet in blue yarn one two and slip stitch to cross the round one change to start the round and next in round 22 what I'm done is I'm gonna do one I'm gonna decrease on this blue one so one single crochet and then decrease so one two and then decrease two together by hooking white yarn so we can change the color at the same time and two single crochet one two in white and then we hook the blue yarn to change color and then two stitch one and two and slip stitch round 73 one single crochet and blue yarn and then another one so two single crochet in blue and then change the color to white and we're gonna do decrease on the white so one and two then hook the blue yarn to change the color and decrease at the same time hook the blue yarn and then single crochet in the next two stitch in blue one and two Then we do slip stitch one change for the next round and I'm I think we're gonna do con yeah I think we're gonna continue the white for another round. So round twenty-four It's gonna be smaller and harder. So one single crochet and two single crochet in blue and then change the color to white. So hook the white yarn 
to change the color is a little bit hard because the stitch is so small together and one white single crochet and then we hook the blue yarn to change the color So tight here and it's quite hard to crochet and then we do two single crochet into the next two stitch in blue crochet Oops. and then slip stitch it's gonna be a little bit hard because the open is so small slip stitch and now I'm gonna cut the white yarn out because we don't use it anymore you can cut it longer if you feel that it not if it, if you feel it too short you can cut it longer and then you secure it inside just just hook it inside the body it's not gonna fall off even though you throw it in the laundry machine And we kind of squeeze the fibers to spread evenly to the, you know, to the end of the tail. And last round on round 25 is going to be all blue. So decrease one and two and then together. And single crochet into the next three stitch is going to be really hard here so, so be careful and focus and another single crochet and slip stitch is it really is it too hard for you for slip to close the slip, slip stitch you can kind of just sewing it to close the, the tail, you know. And cut the yarn and fasten off. And, you know, just sewing it to make the, to make the tail look neat as much as you can. And there may be some, like, hold happen during the color seam. You can run it around. You can run the yarn around and make it look as seamless as possible and here I want to shape the Brazini to like look like he was standing like stand up not just lying down so I'm just sewing sewing them together you know make it tight tight you can make him like any shape you want just kind of shape it and sew it so I'm just fold it together and sewing them and make sure it here just hold on the shape I'm gonna make him into a keychain so I don't mind if whether if he can stand or not but if you want to make him start, like stand properly like put it on the desk you may consider putting a wire skeleton in it which I don't have a tutorial on that part and next we're gonna do Dragonese mouse and we're gonna start with five chains so one chain two chain three chain four chain and before we do the five one I think I like to check whether it yeah I think it's the right side for the mouse and we have one two three four and the five one and we do single crochet into the second chain from hook so one single crochet and then single crochet into the next two chain so one single crochet and two single crochet and now we do three single crochet into this one 
chain three single crochet one two and three into the same stitch if you have a hole you can maybe tie it a little bit and then one single crochet and two single crochet like a reflect on the glass and then for the last stitch we do increase so two single crochet into the same stitch and then we slip stitch to close the round at the first stitch that we done so slip stitch and then we finish the first round one change and then single crochet into the same place that we do slip stitch and we're gonna do one single crochet into each stitch so 10 single crochet one single so we're gonna do one single crochet into the next 10 stitch and one single crochet for each another one single crochet one single crochet and one single crochet another one another one and this is the last one I think or not one two three four five one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah and slip stitch to the first stitch that we've done on that round so we have dressing a little mouth like the white mouth here and leave some length of yarn for sewing cut it off and fasten off the yarn from the hook and then sewing them as a like sewing the face together I left like one one row of what of blue yarn from the neck and sewing it. Try to sew like one one stitch per one stitch so it look it doesn't look like you're sewing it. <laughs> just make it look seamless as possible. And I'm just sewing it. And you may use the pin to hold the piece together and it may not it may ship during sewing so the pins can help you I didn't bring it this time so I'm just sewing it with my hand and now there's a knot if they have some hole happening you know just run the just run the white yarn around and you can close the hole and now we can uh, embroider the white spot in the on the forehead of and now I do the knot stitch is that called a knot stitch yeah I'm sewing and like embroider the knot stitch to his on the middle of his forehead I'm not, I'm not sure what that white spot called and we secure the yarn by you know, just running it in and out in any white part so secure it and then cut it off so nearly done okay my I'm gonna embroider the eyes because the plastic eye look a little bit bigger if you have a smaller side you can just sew in the plastic eye so now I'm using chain stitch if you don't know what chain stitch is you can google it it has a lot of instruction on it so I'm just kind of like making a chain stitch in and draw it into a circle to make to make an eye 
Now it looks like an eye. I make another eyes with the same stitch too. And the tricky part is you have to be careful and make sure that you make both eye equal. Sometimes I didn't make it equal. You have to be careful if you choose to embroidery like I do. Like the easier part is to find a smaller plastic eye. But I don't have it at the moment, so I have to embroidery. Now we have the eye. And now try to secure the yarn. Just run it around and leave the long, like as long as as possible tail inside the body. This can secure the yarn very good. And the face is done. Now we have to do his ear. So chain four, one chain, two, three, and four. We have four chains here, and then we're gonna do double crochet, two double crochet into the first chain, to the first chain. So one double crochet, two double crochet, and then two chain, one chain, two chain, and then slip stitch on the second chain from hook, like that. And then we're gonna do triple crochet into the first chain and make another triple crochet into the first chain. So in total of two. Then we're gonna do two chains one, two. This is the ear and leave some length of yarn for sewing, fasten off and repeat the whole process again and make another one. So we make two of them and sewing to sewing them into the place. And we're gonna sewing them into the place. Because the bat battery is nearly run out, so I'm just cut to this and now we're done with our dragony spinach you can add more like a pink cheek or white spot on the eyes for more cuteness thank you so much for watching like subscribe and comment for more videos and if you crochet it please show me i would love to see the pattern is in the description box below any problems following this tutorial, comment it down below. I will try to answer as fast as I can. And see you again next time. Bye.